All right, beginners, so who remembers what history is? History is God's story of his creation. All right, go ahead and say with me. History is God's story of his creation. So let's refresh our memories from what we learned last week. Yeah, last week about history. History, we talked about what? The creator, which is who? God. And how did he make us? He made us in his image. He fashioned us to look like him, that we may be a witness to people. All right, and what else did we talk about? It was a big word, it started with a P. Purpose. God has a purpose for you. God has a purpose for your parents. God has a purpose for um, where you're at right now. God has a purpose for every single thing that's happening in our lives. Now, sometimes do we see his purpose? Sometimes we think, I'm at home right now and I can't go to school. What's the purpose of that? There's, but believe it or not, there is a purpose behind it. We don't know it yet, but there is. And soon we're gonna look back and be like, oh, that's what it was. If I were at school, then I wouldn't have gotten this. If you were at school, would you have been able to spend time with your family? No, but right now you have so much time to be with either your dad or to be with your mom or some of you are at home with maybe your grandma or your grandpa. You have such a precious time right now to spend one-on-one -on -one time with your family members. All right, so we may not see the purpose right now, but we will later on, okay? So that was last week's history. This week's history, like I said, you have a paper like this, all right? We're gonna talk a little bit about our history. So. I'm not a paper, I'd write about my history. On your paper, you're gonna write about your history. Now, if you're group A, which is Mateo, Josias, and Rocio, you guys are gonna kind of uh, just talk with your parents and they're gonna tell you what, to, uh, what they're gonna put on here. So the first, um, for example, the first one says, when were you born? So your parents are gonna write on there when you were born. All right, were you born in the morning? Were you born at night? What year was it? What time was it? Your parents are gonna write that down for you, okay? And that's it, you don't have to do anything. Now, if you're group B, um, first year students, which is Isabella, which is Ezra and Aiden, you guys, um, your parents are gonna write the answers for you and it, um, you can ask them to do it in cursive and then you can trace the answers that they have um, written for you. Now, if you're my second year, group B, which is Christian, Gabriel, and Jayla, you guys can have your parents, because um, I know there'll probably be some big words in there, have your parents spell out the words for you of what hospital maybe you were born or what time you were born. Um, and you guys will fill out this page yourselves, okay? So we're gonna read you through the questions. And then once we're back in school together, I'm gonna have you guys pull this out. Cause remember, we're gonna I'm gonna file them away in your notebook for you. That really pretty page that you uh, colored and decorated. I'm gonna put this in there, and then when we come back to school, I'm gonna pull it out and put it on all of our desks. And everyone's gonna take turns being able to talk about their history. All right. Now, before we get started, why is it important that we know our history? Does anyone know why? Because when we read our history pages, we won't now because we're not in school yet. But when we do. If you're gonna know this, everyone's history was different because God has a special plan for each and every one of you. And his plan for Jayla is not the same for Rocio. His plan for Mateo is not the same for Josias or Ezra or Aiden. And even Christian and Gabriel, even though they're twins, even y'all, you guys are twins, God's plan for you is gonna be different than um, your brothers, all right? God has a special plan for each and every one of you. Um, Isabella, your plans gave you different um, from Jude, all right? God has a purpose for each and every one of you. You may not know it yet, like I've been saying this whole time, but you will later on. So it's really great to know that God created us each different and unique. Sorry, Christian and Gabriel, I'm going to keep using you guys as examples, okay? But Christian and Gabriel, they're twins, but they were still born at different times. All right, God has made each and every one so unique and so different from one another because of his plan and purpose for your life. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and read these together. When were you born? And then it says in Spanish, all right? So when were you born? Were you born in the summertime? Were you born in the wintertime, in the fall, that like it's coming up soon? Were you born, what time were you born, when? 
all right? Tell me all the details of when you were born. Well, not all the details, but what time you were born. All right, the next one says, where were you born? Were you born in a hospital? Some people will have the doctors come to their house and they were born at their house. Where? Were you born in Fresno? Were you born in, hmm, in Oklahoma? In Mexico? Were you born? Tell me, there's so many places you could have been born. Tell me where you were born. You can tell me the city. You can tell me the state. Let us know, okay? The next one says, what are your parents' names? All right, so what are your parents' names? Are they um, Julio and Rebecca? Are they, you know, what are your parents' names? My parents' name is Yolanda and Cesario, all right? Everyone has different parents, except for Christian and Gabriel. You guys have the same parents. All right, the next one says, how old are you? So how old are you? Are you six right now? Are you seven? Are you five? Did you just turn five? All right, the next one is, what do you think of learning? That's a good question. Do you like learning at school? Do you like learning at home? What do you think of it? Is it fun for you to learn? Or do you get kind of bored of learning? I know some people prefer to be kind of couch potatoes and watch TV all day, but it's good for us to learn. But do you like to learn? All right, the next one is, um, do you like learning new things? So for science last year, we did dinosaurs. The year before that, we did animals. This year, we're doing uh, plants. We're gonna learn about plants. All right, so we're gonna learn about different things. The next thing is, where am I? Okay. Um, do you know that God has a great plan for your life? So we talked about God's plan, or how God has a plan for your life last week and a little bit about this week. But do you know that God has a plan for your life? Because sometimes we hear people tell us things, but do we always believe it? So do you believe that God has a plan for you? Because if you don't, he does. All right. But if you don't know it yet, that's okay. Put, tell me what you think. All right. But I do want you to know that God does have a plan for you. All right. So this is our page for this week. It's really fun because it's something that you get to talk about with your parents that maybe you don't always talk about with your parents. Sometimes we don't think to say, huh, was I born in the middle of the night? Or was I born early in the morning? It's just a thought, all right? It's curiosity. So we're gonna talk about our history with our parents. We're gonna fill out this page, all right? Um, remember, group A, your parents can write it for you. Uh, group B, um, Isabella, Ezra, and Aiden, you guys can trace it. Um, and then my second year group B, Christian, Gabriel, and Jayla, you guys can write it out yourselves with your parents' help. All right, so have fun. Talk about this with your parents. Um, all right, and enjoy. I think you think you'll enjoy today's history. And then to go with it is I have a verse right here. And it says, God made me special. No one else is like me. You see, God made me a witness to his um, sorry, here's my dog. All right, so this verse um, right here, it says, God made me special. Like no one else, you see, God made me a witness to his diversity. So that means God made me special. We all know what that means. God made you special. Like no one else, you see. Like no one else, God made you. Even though Christian and Gabriel are twins, they're still completely different. God made me a witness. That means when you go, people are gonna see how you live. They're gonna see you with their eyes and you're a witness like that to his diversity, all right? So as Christians, we're all different. Some of us has funny laughs. Some of us have um, uh, silly smiles, all right? But when we go out, people are gonna see that and they're gonna see how, wow, God created you different. Wow, God made you so special. You're so different. You know, Christian and Gabriel, you guys are twins. You're so different and you're so special. All right, so uh, one more time. God made me special. There's no one else like, there's no one else you see. God made me a witness to his diversity. So this page you did not get. All right, just so we're clear. You didn't get this page, but this page does go with what we're talking about this whole week. And so I'm going to laminate it and Miss Sarah is going to let you want you, want you guys to keep it um, in your room or keep it in your folder. And every so often, 
go ahead and tell yourself this. Go ahead and stand in the mirror, put your hands in a superhero position, and tell yourself this verse right here because it's a very special verse. All right? So I hope you guys enjoyed today's history, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.